Oh boy, oh boy, this was a memorable first day of school. It included more drama than Columbus East High School could have ever imagined. In a sudden emergency, a couple of students gave first aid to a classmate and probably saved his life. Tonight, Rich and I shares the story of a sophomore and now he is expressing his gratitude as he also is facing a pretty long recovery. I can't move my fingers in the slightest on this hand. Clayton Smith has both arms wrapped in bandages and full of stitches after a freak accident Friday while playing touch football during lunch on the first day of classes at Columbus East High School. Clayton says he was running for a touchdown almost to the goal line when he took a slight bump on a two hand touch, reached out to support himself and both arms went through this window. My first thought pretty much was, oh Lord, I'm gonna get suspended. I just broke a window. Clayton won't be going to class for a while. He didn't get suspended. He severed the tendons on his fingers on his left arm. He cut completely through the main artery near his right elbow. I knew I was gonna like have some slight cuts on my hands. Didn't know how severe. I look over and my muscle is out of my arm. And it, it wasn't a pretty sight. And I started running around the field screaming. Two fellow sophomores calmed Clayton and put a sweatshirt tourniquet on his badly bleeding right arm until the ambulance arrived. To be able to help uh, potentially save his life as well as his limb and they did exactly what they needed to do. They moved quickly, took action and we're so glad that, that they were there at the right time. Thank you so much. Me, my family, we're, we're all very grateful of what you did. You're obviously not medical professionals, but you did exactly what needed to be done on the spot. All this happened on Clayton's 15th birthday. If they would have acted 15 seconds later, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. They saved my life. Doctors at Methodist Hospital reattached everything during three hours of surgery Saturday. Clayton expects to eventually regain complete mobility in both arms and hands. It was originally my whole arm. Uh, and now I want to let you know we're not identifying the student heroes tonight because we couldn't contact their parents. But the school and Clayton's family hope to formally recognize those yeah. two fellow sophomores who stepped in and made a difference after everyone has had time to process what yeah. really ended up being a very traumatic event. As you can imagine, so many of the students were right. scared and they ran the other way because right. they thought they'd get in trouble. There was a lot of blood and they were scared. Yeah. But these two sophomores went in, put that tourniquet in and uh, likely saved his life. Yeah, did a great job. Yeah. We're thankful that Clayton's mm -hmm. going to recover there. Yeah.